And there's one item in particularly that I think is overlooked by a lot of resellers. So stay tuned for that. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, it is time for a featured members video. These are members of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, and I'm gonna share with you their bolos. Some of them are unexpected and some of them are big money, but either way, I can almost bet that you're gonna learn something new in this video because I know I did. Um, I just released a video recently about um, something that I found that I learned from one of my featured um, Facebook members videos. And I had it sitting in my garage and it was a big money bolo. So go check out that video. But anyway, we are going to get started here. I'm going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it and what it sold for. And there's one item in particularly that I think is overlooked by a lot of resellers. So stay tuned for that. Let's get started. All right. All right. So the first item comes from Simply Savvy Deals. And I'm just going to kind of scroll through some of their items here. All of the eBay stores will be linked down in the description of the video. If they have a YouTube channel, that will be linked down there also. So be sure to go and check all of them out. Christmas is coming and um, great way to support other resellers. All right. The first item is this Canon PowerShot camera. And I don't know about you, but this is an item that I walk past all the time simply because I do not want to test them. So if anybody sells these types of items and has any tips or tricks for the people watching, feel free to drop those down in the comments. Um, this uh, seller got this at an estate sale for $5 and sold it for full asking price of $79.99. The next item, Cutco. If you guys don't know about Cutco, Oh my goodness, it is definitely a bolo. If you see Cutco, pick it up. Uh, let me see here if I can find right here. They are usually very visibly marked. This one even has the little container, which is fantastic. Yard sale paid 60 cents and sold this for a best offer of $70 plus shipping. The next item here is the Defender Bible. It's a limited edition King James version. And I will tell you that Bibles do sell uh, certain editions. Some of the really, really old ones can do fantastic. This one right here, he got off of Facebook Marketplace for $5 and sold it for $139. And this was an auction. The next item is this Jaws uh, Super Scene New Sealed Shark Diver Bottle Model Kit. So it's a kit. So something you build. And he got this at the Goodwill for $2.99 and sold it for $179.99. Anything new old stock, I am definitely picking up, especially if it's only three bucks. That's incredible. This one comes from the Bulldog Shop, another new member here. So definitely go down and check out her store. And if you hit the heart, that will... Um, make you follow their store and you'll get notifications when they post new items. So that is a great way to um, stay in touch with sellers that you like right here. Save seller. You just click on that. She sold Zur Bible. So this is a complete six volume set. So this is a little bit different. It's a commentary. I'm not really sure what all that gets into, but this is what it looks like. And she got this at an estate sale for approximately a dollar. It sounds like um, maybe she bundled and ended up selling this for $150. Bunnies by the Bay. And she gives credit to the zombie bargain hunter. If you don't know who he is, it's Robert. He has an amazing YouTube channel. He sells a lot of plush, but he does sell other items also. But she was watching his channel and learned about Bunnies by the Bay. And she picked this up at an estate sale for $7.00 and sold it for 170 plus shipping. So this is another example of watching YouTube and seeing what other people are selling is going to strengthen your knowledge. So when you're out there sourcing, 
you're going to be armed and ready to find these items. All right, precious moments. This one is from the beginning. It's a figurine. And most precious moments are bread and butter. But um, I know I buy chit. Recently sold some for big money. And um, you can find some big money ones. But you need to scan them and you need to check them. Because most of them are bread and butter. And speaking of I buy chit. And it's C-H-I-T. It's a play on words. Super funny guy. But he is a big money bolo finder. And I actually featured his entire store because he has incredible bolos. I'll try to remember to link that down in the description if you guys want to go check out that video if you missed it. All right, precious moment. She got this at an estate sale. She did pay up for it. She paid $37 for it and it sold for $200. Thrift and Style 1156, another eBay store. And you guys will see that not all of my members have YouTube channels. Many of them just have eBay stores that they want to share and get their eBay stores out there for you guys to check out. Um, it's a great way to look at their stores, maybe find something to buy, but also learn. You know, you can check out their titles, their pictures. These people are successful, successful resellers that you should uh, definitely be checking out. All right. This is a MCM mid-century modern. It's a wall brass sconce. And she got this at the Goodwill for $8 and sold it for $89.97 plus shipping. The next item, she picked this one out because she knows that I love to sell toys. And this one is a German cartoon figurine. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know what that word is. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt. But anyway, it's a little vintage toy. And she sold this for $6.99 plus shipping. And she got this at the Goodwill bin. So her cost of goods was probably, what, five, 10 cents? So that's definitely a good turnover. And it's a cool item that I've never heard of. So this is Avon Maui Bliss Body Wash. She um, sold these in a lot of four. But you can see here she has sold four of these for $14.97 plus shipping. She also got these at the Goodwill bins. Her cost of goods was approximately $3.50. The next item is this Lutron Cassetta, I don't know, wireless smart fan speed control. If you don't know, you definitely want to pick up these uh, fan controllers. They can definitely be a bolo. She got this one also. This one is um, also, a, it's a different model. But she sold these, um, let's see. She got them at the Goodwill for three bucks each. This one sold for 39 and this one sold for 33 So I know at my Goodwill, they have areas that has these types of items and I usually walk past them and maybe I need to, to give them a little better of a look over. So that's my takeaway from that. Okay. So she messaged me about the title of her name and I can't, I kind of like briefly scanned it. I feel like it has something to do with tarantulas and her name. <laughs> so I'm going to do the best I can. Tamant. To, to Marantula's Treasures. That is her eBay store. And she's got lots of plushies here. So go and check her out and see what she has. She's got a scream mask and um, lots of good uh, Disney items, it looks like there. So I will have her link down below as well. I love this one. It's the game of Boom or Bust. It's a board game from 1951. And the best part about it, you guys, is the game is incomplete. So I usually, if a game is incomplete, is I will part out the items individually. Like I'll sell the money, I'll sell the little game pieces, I'll sell the board. I've never thought to just sell the whole game as incomplete or missing parts. Maybe if it was just missing one thing, I don't know. But it looks like it's missing the red pawn, the dice, the chips, and the instructions, okay? And she still sold it for $79.99 plus shipping. So I do believe that that is a great learning um, learning tool for us right there. But let's look at this shipping, $24.98. So one thing that I have told you guys in the past that I do is board games, I put them on Poshmark because they're heavy. And um, Poshmark has that set fee, I believe it's $7.95 for anything that's five pounds or less. So you may get more money for your item because the shipping is less. But just a little tip, if you're not on Poshmark, you can sell hard goods on Poshmark. I recently did a what sold video of items I sold on Poshmark. 
majority of those were hard goods. So uh, check that video out. And we're going to go on to the next item here. It is a vapor air vaporizer. It's a vaporizer. It looks vintage. And she got this at the Goodwill for $5.99. Took a best offer of $45 on this. Let me know, you guys. Would you have walked right past this? Because I know that I would have. I just would not even have given this a second look. The next item is this Panasonic voice-activated mini cassette recorder tape. And Goodwill, $4.99. And she did take a best offer of $50 on this. I'm guessing she probably could have held out for more. But she did say that she priced it high knowing that um, she could take best offers, send offers. And her goal was to get it for around $50. Another thing that I'm looking at that I think here that I may suggest that she utilize because I'm seeing she's in Washington and I'm in Ohio. And for me to buy this item, the shipping would have been $25. I don't know how big this is, but it may have fit in a um, padded flat rate envelope, which would have been, would made shipping about $8. And what I would have done is wrapped it in cardboard and then stuck it into that padded envelope. So that would have reduced the cost for her buyers and she may have gotten more for her item if the shipping was lower. Now the people that live near Washington, this shipping price is going to be a lot lower. That's the same with me. You know, if somebody from California is buying from me, the shipping cost is going to be more. Um, it just depends on your location. So if you can utilize at least a sep separate option. Let me see. She might have it down here of a flat rate. Um, so she's got, well, that's weird. Okay. So UPS ground and priority mail. So what I'm seeing here is, and you guys, this is a good tip. So you go in and check. So you know what your buyers are seeing. It looks like she has UPS ground as her first option. So that's what your buyer is going to see. So if I, what I would recommend that she does is go in and make priority mail her first choice. That way, that's what her buyer sees here. Because that can um, that can definitely keep you from getting a sale. If I saw $24.98 shipping, I'm like moving on to somebody who has cheaper shipping. That's me personally. So just another tip right there. So check your shipping stats. Uh, Playmobil. This is a huge lot of Playmobil garage sale. Um, it, she bought a ton of it. I think her mom bought it for $50. And this set alone sold for $50. I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, I could have parted this out. Oh my goodness. Look at all these amazing things. Um, a reseller may have been buying this or somebody, a parent, somebody who wanted this for their kids. $80 is fantastic. Um, and it's a it's a great thing here. So she let's see, let's look at the shipping again. 60 on this one. And it looks like UPS ground and parcel selector both $60 range. So that one wouldn't have made a difference. And she does offer local pickups. So that's a great idea as well. Auctions for you. All right. So she does YouTube auctions where she sells to resellers. Her and Donatella Bottolino do that together back and forth on each other's channels. So definitely check out both of them. And what did she sell? She's still putting stuff on eBay. Her husband helps her with the eBay side of it. And this is just a CD. Uh, Yari Moore, never heard of him. Um, I guess it's a rare salsa CD. She sold this for $29.95 plus shipping. So don't sleep on the CDs. Definitely scan them. I know most of the time when I scan things, they end up being like five bucks and I'm like, ah, but 30 bucks is a great return. Um, so she gets her items from uh, wholesale buys. She goes out and she looks for, uh, she's got people that contact her and she buys in big wholesale lots so that she can, again, wholesale the items out to resellers and they can still make a profit. This is a mega blocks. This was from a big toy buyout she did. And she sold this for 69 plus shipping. And this was probably also from that big toy buyout. It's a Corgi. Um, I think it's like a, a model kit here. $59.99 plus shipping. Oh, no, maybe it's uh, these little trucks. 
So Corgi is a good brand. Definitely Corgi, Corgi. I'm not sure how to say it. Definitely look that up if you see it. Some of those can go for big money. All right. We've got Chosen Goods Reseller who is finally back and listing on eBay. Hopefully we're going to get a video from her soon. I think she's going to do the Ben's Bingo Challenge. So excited to see her video. Uh, sub her up. She is linked down below. She sold these volcanic light up wheels, roller skating, indoor, outdoor, four piece dazzle self lighting. So these are pretty cool. They go on skates. She got these at a thrift store for $3. And she sold these for a best offer of $35 plus shipping. She also recently branched out to Poshmark. And she is using List Perfectly to cross post. If you're not using List Perfectly, I highly recommend getting your eye getting your items on other items because there are different eyes on different platforms. I do have a video down below that shows you exactly how to use List Perfectly. And if you use my referral code Bola Buddies, all one word, you will get thirty percent off your first month of that. So definitely check that out. She sold this Build a Bear Advent Calendar, and I did feature this in last month's video but she sold it on eBay and she sold it on eBay for less. She sold it on Poshmark for 117. So sometimes you can get more, um, more on certain platforms. She did pay $35 for this. This was a retail arbitrage buy. So when you do RA, you're going to pay up a little bit, but 35 into 117 is fantastic. She also sold on Poshmark this Kirkland pug dog painted face canvas heavy doorstop rope loop top pet home that was her title thrift store two dollars and fifty cents and she sold this for twenty nine dollars and her um tag for poshmark is chosen goods 21 so go and follow her she is newer over on poshmark and i'm sure she would appreciate that very much champagne taste 73 um, she just got a new banner and she got that from Real Creative Studios. You guys have heard me talk about Robin. She does my trailers, my intros. Um, she helps me with some of my uh, graphics and stuff like that. But she reached out to Robin for a banner and I think it turned out amazing. I love how this little thing is, uh, the wine glass is pouring into the tea. It's just incredible. So if you need any artwork done, definitely check out Real Creative Studios. I will link her down in the description of the video. All right. Excellent, amazing store here. Look at this octopus. So cool. Um, she's got some really beautiful jewelry. I think a lot of these items came from her personal collection. So um, definitely go check it out. All right. What did she sell? Speaking of earrings, um, I think these are earrings. Yes. And she said they have individual little uh, springs on each petal. How fun is that, right? And that is what they look like. And you guys, these little stands right here, you can pick these up really cheap on eBay. And they're a great, a great way to display your items. These were a personal item. And she ended up taking a best offer of $45 plus shipping on those. And the brand is Nettie Rosenstein. These are antique ice skates from the 1800s. Professional skates. And they are steel. Winslow 15 inch. And she got these at an antique store. She paid $10 for them, which is fantastic for an antique store, right? And she sold these for 100 plus shipping. The next item is this, oh, I always say this wrong, Majolica, Majolica. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Sorry, guys. Um, it's starfish coral shells on a pedestal. And she got this for $13 at a thrift store and flipped it for 150 plus shipping. She said this thing was like, 30 pounds. So it is definitely a uh, definitely a big, massive, heavy piece there. I, I think 30 pounds after she boxed it up because it looks like 22.3 pounds. So after packaging and oh my goodness, could you imagine packaging that up? Oh, sometimes I think about the time it takes me to package things like that. And I'm like, is it worth my time? Because I it takes me a long time. Both the great and small, another eBay store here, and we'll go through some pictures. You can see here what they have, lots of variety of different things. And let's see what they sold. They sold this um, FFA jacket, Mason, Iowa, corduroy blue, farmer, agriculture. And 
got this at a garage sale in a free box. So it was just sitting in the free box. You got to love the free box. You guys, if you're not checking the free box, don't feel stupid to walk over and check the free box. Do it. Sometimes you're going to find something incredible like this that is going to be a bolo sitting there and it's going to cost you nothing. 80 bucks plus shipping. This super duper double looper. <laughs> That was kind of fun to say. She got this at a garage sale for $2, took a best offer of 80. And this is the one I was talking about at the beginning of the video where I said, this is something that many of us just walk right past. It is SRA, Reading Developmental Laboratory, Level 2 Comprehension Speed Skills School. So this is for homeschooling. And these items do sell. And a lot of times they sell for big money because homeschooling um, people need these. They need them. And this one looks to be an unused uh, condition. I don't see any writing on anything. She got this at free from a friend and sold it for a best offer of $200 plus shipping. Flippin' Hot Finds. Awesome eBay store. Check it out. Lots of variety there. And I will scroll a little further here. And again, these links are down below if you see anything that catches your interest. But I'm only showing you page one. So go check out some other pages. She sold this Blue Oyster Colt Some Enchanted Evening 1978 vinyl album. It's an LP. And this one came from a YouTube auction. She got it from Auctions for You in a $35 lot. She got 25 albums for $35. So cost of goods was approximately $1.40. And she took a best offer of $40 plus shipping on this. This is auctions for you who she bought it from. So definitely check her out if you are looking for inventory. This right here is a Deadpool Marvel Dirty Wolf Censored Space Bonanza 1997. It's a comic book. And she got this from Primetime Treasure Hunter, his Whatnot channel. So if you guys are not on Whatnot, I do have a link below that um, it's a referral link. So if you click on it and you join, you'll get $10 credit to shop. And I am on Whatnot. I haven't had my first sale yet, but it's coming soon. I assure you. Um, I've been saying that for a while, but it's coming. So follow me there, but definitely follow Primetime Treasure Hunter also. And she got, she paid about $6 on whatnot for this and took a best offer of $50 plus shipping. And Primetime Treasure Hunter also has an amazing YouTube channel that you should definitely check out. He is incredible. Um, just a super guy with super reseller content. So check him out on whatnot and YouTube. All right. This one is a vintage Carl Enns rare porcelain bird finch. And it says 1920s Germany. She got this from a YouTube auction uh, from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube auction. It was $70. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me see. Um, she bought the lot, the entire lot for $45. This one, she took a best offer of $70. She said and she has another bird for sale and she has already sold seven items for a $200 profit from that $45 box. So um, definitely check out Donatella Bottolino. Also uh, great for resellers, all three of those channels um, that I just shared with you. Flippin' Hot Finds does a lot of shopping online, which is fantastic. You can shop from your home and these items are shipped to you. And these resellers cater to uh, YouTube channels, cater to resellers. So it's a great way to get stuff in the comfort of your home. Lombardi Limited right here is his store. He does a lot of ephemera and hats and items like that. So definitely uh, check him out. He's got some really interesting postcards and pictures. And he sold this paint by number. If you guys do not know, some paint by number can go for big money. He did take a best offer of $45 on this, but he got it at a flea market for 50 cents. He also sold this Nutra Blend Mesh Corduroy Patch Snapback Hat. It's K brand. K brand is an awesome brand to be on the lookout for. Let me see right here. This is what it looks like. If you see K products or K brand, definitely look up that hat. 
Uh, this one, he ended up taking a best offer of 30. He bought it from a huge collection. So he's got about a quarter in this. Electric garage sale does estate buyouts and clean outs. So sometimes he um, gets the items free if he cleans out the sale. So really his cost of goods is labor on most of his items. So I'm going to give you some examples here. He has this um, 1868 Bible. Again, I told you guys, antique, old, vintage Bibles can do very well. This Bible, he ended up taking a best offer of $40 plus shipping. This is a vintage 1954-55 Montgomery Ward catalog. And uh, Yard Sales and Dreams has also sold these catalogs for good money. This one right here sold for $39 best offer plus shipping plus shipping. This is a pin, a button pin, and it's uh, Slovakian. So I'm not really sure. Ja som pro eek. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But anyway, cool button there. Sold it for $34 plus shipping. And these right here are uh, postage stamps, but they are a little bit different and definitely a cool item. Things that I would pass by. He sold these for $29 plus shipping. These were all estate clean out items. So cost of goods was just his labor. The Collectibles Cafe. They are pounding items into their store. Lots of them are new toys. So if you're looking for Christmas presents, go and check them out. And I want to share with you some of the items that they have been selling from their personal collection. This is a Catwoman DC Comics bon bombshell statue. It's a limited edition. And they bought this a while back. Um, it, again, it was part of their collection. They paid $99.99 for it. And it sold for $349.99 plus shipping. The next item also from their personal collection. So to find these items in this good of condition, it's probably not going to happen, but you may find this item pre-owned and you just never know. You might run into a collector and buy out all of their stock. So this is something definitely to be on the lookout for. This one's Poison Ivy. This one cost them originally $129.99 and they sold it for $339.99. I'm sorry, $339.95 with free shipping. And the next item is this big trouble in Little China, the game, Everything Epic, Kurt Russell, and it is new and sealed. This one came from Think Geek back when they were going out of business. It was a clearance sale and they paid $49.99 for it and sold it for $227.95 plus shipping. All right, you guys, those were your bolos. Let me know which one was your favorite. Leave me an emoji of an owl or just say whoo, whoo, or hoot. You're a hoot. Um, thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate you. If you want to be featured in a video like this, you can join memberships. No pressure. Um, I love it that you guys are here and watching, but some people enjoy having their bolo shouted out in a video. Um, so you can join memberships. Level two gets you in the video. Uh, if you don't see the join button, there's a link down in the description. If you go to my link tree, that's going to take you to everything, all of my social media, like Twitter, Instagram, everywhere I'm at, the items that I use for my business, it's all there under one link. So um, that should be right there at the top. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here and go check out those YouTube channels and eBay stores down below. And thanks for watching.